time to start. Okay, uh, hey, Dragon Poster, whatever. I gotta talk about something, and I'm gonna rant, because this really pissed me off. Rant while you want. Yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a nerd rant, so, like... When is our rant never not a nerd rant? (laughs) You need to, if you don't want to hear me just bitch about something that really pissed me off, you gotta skip this part of the video and go to the part where we talk about, you know, penises or whatever we usually talk about. (laughs) But, like, there is a manga, okay... There is a manga that me and Yadira read and we love called mm. Doro Hey Doro. It's like a horror action manga. It's really, it's funny too. It's really you, interesting. I think cool. you mentioned it to me before. Yeah, I've, I talked about it like crazy when we were reading it. And it came out like a couple years ago. Like, almost like, I want to say like... Why is Alvin in the party? Seven years ago. Why is Rowan in the party? Where the fuck is Jude? What, what, what's happening? What? Why did the party change? Oh, it's because we added two people back? Yeah, yeah kick out the whole place. That was weird. Yeah, that was weird. I'm sorry. Go ahead, continue right now. I just oh, had to point that out. I just saw a video about the new upcoming anime coming out, like, next season. Mm-hmm. They have an anime of Dora Hey Dora coming out. I was like, finally! Yes! Oh my god, I'm so fucking happy. I love Dora Hey Dora. It's all CGI. <laughs> and it's really, really ugly. I, look, I'm sure there's CGI shows that are good. There are. And they're good, they're like, okay or interesting. Mm-hmm. And I watched the whole Giguk video about, Shidonio like... Shidonio no Kishi is amazing. Yeah, um, totally. The, the, the Land one, of the Lustrous looks great. Uh, like, uh, oh my god, I can't remember the other one where it's the children and they pilot the fucking, the robot. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know what I'm talking yes, about. Yes, there's some really good ones out there. This looks fucking butt ugly. Mm. There's no excuse why it looks this ugly. The Godzilla ones are good. So I'm going to guess what? PS2 graphics style? Yes, mm-hmm. exactly. Like, really disgusting cell shading. It's Dor! Hey, Dor! You can't do... You can't do that! It's really good! You can't... That's, that, no, oh, That's how I raged when the, the Hunter x Hunter reboot came out. Yeah. Because the first Hunter x Hunter was dark and gritty, and it was very violent. And yeah. the second one is, is action-packed and violent as well. But I, I showed this to a woo-woo at work. And um, so just to use this one scene comparison between the two, uh, kill, they're, they're taking the Hunter exam, mm-hmm. and they come across, the, they have to defeat these prisoners uh, in, in like a 1v1s. And so Killua goes out to kill, uh, to fight the, the one prisoner. And this is big American looking guy. He's like, I strangle people, blah, blah, blah. You know, the big, I'm a mass psychopath murderer. And so, in the new one, um, when Killer uh, defeats him, he. Okay, so he just run right past his. I was like trying to grab it, and it was like, (laughs) wasn't grabbing. So, when Killer uh, fights him, and then uh, he defeats him, he he rips his heart out, and it's in kind of like this little, like, baggy like he used his shirt to hold his heart and uh-huh. then he was just like ha 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 i have your heart right and the original one the first the first version of it fucking killua is holding his beating heart in his hand yeah and it's just his actual beating heart in his hands and he crushes it in front of him and it's like uh, why didn't you just make the second season just as violent as that one because that's what the whole series is. it's it's really yeah that's like that's the tone of the series. Yeah, I know. And, and, and I know and it's kind of like a big like, just a letdown where it's like, oh, it's really violent and everything, and then and I know it's like you don't need like violence for the Torco. show. Yeah. Remember the fucking Torco, the the OVA before it came out, yeah. where he had the fucking like giant demon food god thing, and you ripped the animal in half with this fucking fork and yeah. knife thing. And it's like that's. And then sick. when the actual anime came out, it was like way. It was like Cookie Punch. Yeah, it was like Whatever. the same exact yeah. thing, but really dumb. Really, really kid friendly. Yeah. I forgot about Toriko. Well, yeah, Whatever happened to that? Like. Yeah, who oh. knows? Did it vanish, or is it still I, going on? I honestly can tell you, I have no idea. Because I remember there was like an OVA there, where it was like... There's a crossover between Toriko, One Piece, and Dragon Ball, and now, which was really bad. And um, then Toriko just kind of like... Punched things, because yeah. that's what he does. And no, I mean, it's... it's it oh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's just, I, like, I, don't, I don't know if it finished. No, I don't, yeah. I don't know if it got cancelled. <laughs> I just don't know. God, I saw all this manga of uh, this manga of like all the Shonen Jump 
characters having like a fighting tournament against each other and it was so great watching gintama beat yugi moto and fucking like Yu Gi Oh. <laughs> he would do that too and like and all his cards were show. characters from gintama and they had like giant like censored dicks and yugi's like i've never seen a card like that before and he fucking won with his nonsensical bullshit <laughs> I want to try to find them. That sounds hilarious. Yeah, I found it online, and then, like, it was, oh, God, like, I forgot where I found it, too. Oh. It was so cool. Because that, that's, that's very Gintama-esque. Yeah. <laughs> I was, um, watching some Gintama again. because uh, I was re-watching it before, so. And then I stopped. And now I'm re-watching it again. And, God damn. I miss the old subgroups. Like, don't get me wrong, I appreciate horrible subs uh -huh. for subbing everything that they do. But the old subgroups just had so much passion behind it. <laughs> and it's like, all the translation notes that they would put in, all the quality that they would put into it. Oh, why do I keep clicking that? I don't want yeah. I'm being a weirdo, I'm sorry. It's just, My man. thumb was itching to click that, I guess. I just, I just miss the old subgroups. I know. I'm sorry, dude. I'm having trouble, like, finding anime where I can watch it for free because all the sites I watched it are all, like, shut down now. Well, trust me, there's so much out there. So many sites out there still. Mm -hmm. Netflix is... I think Netflix has been doing an amazing job beefing up their... Yeah. Their anime. Like, they've been they have, like, better some anime on there now. Yeah, they, they bring it in some really good quality ones in. I give them kudos. Uh -huh. I'm so sorry you all got dragged into this. What a horror. She has some bullshit going on with her. Yeah. Ayla, you can drop the act. What, what do you mean? I really was worried about you. Why would I lie about that? Jude, what are you saying? You figured it out. Saying it was no coincidence we met Isla. Yeah. Remember what those locals told us when the bell rang for the fire? No. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Oh, that's right. That's right. We met her when we first came. <laughs> I completely forgot we met her. Yeah, actually, me too. So, so, Jude, if you can figure this shit out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know, I know. Alvin, shoot him. <laughs> May Tante Jude. They asked, wouldn't it be a shame if Jurgen found out? What happened to the girl breaks my heart. But I had no choice back then either. Please don't tell Jurgen. Jurgen! You mean Pinky? What happened to her? I'm very confused. Um, her husband, Pinky, doesn't, fiance, doesn't know that she worked for the Exodus. Oh, that's it? I think that's what they're talking about. Okay, yeah, because that's what I thought they were talking about. And she's yeah. like, I'm damaged goods. Like, oh, you're just an assassin. Uh, oh. Yes, that is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> what was he looking at? <laughs> Chris walked by and he saw Alvin with the mask. Oh, he stopped. Oh. He stopped to look back oh, at I, I, We've seen that mask so much that I didn't even think about it. <laughs> yeah, that, that is just Alvin to us now. Maybe I should take it off just to see what his face looks like. No, you do not take that off. <laughs> I'm like starting to forget. Oh, I do remember what it looks like. I was going to say I was forgetting his face, but even in the little he's animations. In the yeah, he's yeah. in the little, little cutscene thingies. God, if it had that creepy face in the little cutscene thingies. That'd be great. Yes, that is pigtails coming out of the top part of a top hat, right. yes. I mean, I can see that. <laughs> Someone take some scissors and get a little creative. Sure. Yeah, let's go snitch to Jurgen. Jurgen. I didn't even know his name was Jurgen. I don't remember hearing that name. I, just, I remember Jurgen, yeah. I, called, I just called him Pinky. I don't remember the Isla chick, though. 
Japan. I, I remember her, but I don't remember meeting her when the rock fell. Yeah. That was like a month ago. That is definitely a guy in there, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he was before we fucked with him. <laughs> and then he has a floating little gothic hat coming out of his one hand. Yeah. And then floating we, pigtails. We were trying out of to we were hand. trying to have little pigtails and a hat on his swords, but he doesn't always have the swords out. So the accessories are still there, even when the swords aren't out. <laughs> so they're just kind of floating. It's, it's the pigtails on the sword, and then the see that's top, what he actually looks yeah, like. That's what he looks like, yeah. And then the top hat is on his gun. <laughs> Thanks for the laugh. He's a little gothic hat. The fun at work. <laughs> yeah. Have a good night. Yeah. And that's a party hat. Because for Mila, every time is party time. Bird! <laughs> bird! Hey. I thought you talked to the bird. I thought <laughs> No, I wasn't talking. <laughs> like, where's the prop? I didn't see the prompt. <laughs> I knew I could talk to the bird. <laughs> oh! Oh, 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 oh. There's something I really wanted to tell you and I forgot about until now. Back to the topic of Pokemon. Yes. I know it was like two videos or four videos ago. We're talking about Pokemon. But yes. I, I like to watch Did You Know Gaming sometimes. And one of the videos they were talking about was um, in Gold and Silver. There's a library you can go to and there's a book you can read about ancient Pokemon history. And they said back in the day, people actually married Pokemon. And back then, it wasn't considered as weird because people were more like poke, like similar to Pokemon than they are now. And in the Heart Gold and Soul Silver version, they retconned it that oh, they eat at the dinner table together, and it's just like, don't you see what this means? Like this is how I interpret it. All those people that make that really creepy like Pokemon like furry porn like they were right. They were right. Everyone else that didn't believe them, they were wrong. That's part of the lore. That is actually part of the lore. Yes. They're all like, oh, you guys are being perverts. But no, they knew. They it knew was, all along. It wasn't actually Rule 34. It was just lore. lore. <laughs> Official Ninte uh, Pokemon Nintendo the lore. Nintendo licensed lore. <laughs> it wasn't... Oh, God, that's funny to think about. I was telling my coworkers about that. They're like, no, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> Makes sense. There were some humanoid-esque Pokemon. Yeah. They knew. And if these are all supposed to be, you know, all the Pokemon are there at the same time, they're just in different regions, then that means all those other humanoid S Pokemon existed back then, too. Yeah. Well, it's like, the really weird one is in Sun and Moon. There's this, um, there's a kind of like a Salamander, like a black Salamander one. And then when it evolves, it gets more curvier, and its chest is like, and this is not like fan art, this is actual Pokemon. And in its Pokedex, it says that it releases pheromones and it can attract, um, it can arouse males and male humans as well to, like, seduce them. And it's just like a salamander Pokemon. Interesting. It's like, what the fuck? You've, you've seen about the Pokemon, um, Pokedexes and how fucked up they are, right? Oh, yeah. Even in the current ones, too. Yeah. I mean, I have a Pokedex. Yeah. Does the Pokedex have the explanations and everything in it? If you type in, well, for the 151. Yeah. Yeah. That actually has, like, the text? Yeah. Oh, yeah it's, an, it just... it's an actual Pokedex. Oh, cool. Yeah. Does it still work, or you just have it under your bed? It, it was beeping. <laughs> what did you say? It was beeping. When oh. I put the batteries in before, all it would be like, beep! <laughs> so I, I took the batteries out. Hey, Jurgen, before we go, I just have one small piece of information that I gotta let you know. Um. I don't know what I said. Oh, sorry. Had a, had a cough there a second. What I wanted to say is. Oh, 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 oh sorry. <laughs> Sneeze there for a minute there. I'm sorry. Um. <clears throat> say that again. I said something about Exodus. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's not it's not that important. Yeah. You know. uh, hey, uh, have a nice night. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, I live with Alexis. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. What does Mila mean by the truth behind the laboratory? Apparently, Elise wasn't the only kid they kept at that place. Lots of other children were brought there too. Did Gao tell you that? When did he speak to Gao? 
I don't remember. Yeah, we were talking over it. Yeah, it's probably true. <laughs> if you want to know what he was talking about with the job, go back like a video or two. <laughs> Literally, because remember, <laughs> Mila doesn't use metaphors. <laughs> no, Mila, wait! <laughs> mm, I don't see any information. <laughs> lobotomy, I'm doing a lobotomy. Don't worry, it's for your own good. <laughs> Come on, small child. Come on, let's go. Yep, yep. She's like, ah, she's crazy. Can't do anything. I've shoved so many pills down her throat and she didn't stop being crazy. She's still crazy. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. She's like a little kid having a temper tantrum where they just go limp. And it's just like, I'm not going to carry you. Get up. <laughs> Get off the floor. Uh-oh. You did well back there. I knew I could trust you to protect your leaf for us. Congratulations. You get to live for one more day. Mm-hmm. Alvin, you did go back there, but your shoes still really suck. Never mm-hmm. a dull moment with that guy. Mm-hmm. Soon enough, I'll have to prepare myself too. Huh? To kill. <laughs> I was gonna say. I like how our minds go immediately to killing <laughs> Alvin. <laughs> Force? You want to become a Jedi? <laughs> she pulls out a lightsaber. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Star Wars Souls. <laughs> Jedi Souls. Mm-hmm. Oh, so we're just gonna leave them. Oh, yeah, mm, I'm not gonna agree with that on the Mila. Except the four. Oh, not just spirits. Humans as well. They're fun toys. I mean, they're fun animals. I mean, I want, I want the four to be like hearing this and be like, "We're not dead yet. Come on!" <laughs> the, the, doubt of just... the, the doubt of the spire is like. Doof. We can, we can hear you. Please don't kill us. Please just get us out. We can still help you. Just press the button. There's a button right there. Just press that button. Just press, please, please just press the button, Mila. Please don't kill us. Come on, man. Oh, we, I have, I have a lady spirit back home, you know? We were going to make some lesser spirits together. Come on, man. I'll do anything, man. I'll suck your dick. <laughs> Speaking of that, there's an episode of Always Sunny. <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> crack it. Uh, I didn't think that would get you to talk about Always Sunny, but I mean, you can always find a way. I will always find a way. No, but they seriously go to crack it with a six pack of beer, and he's like, oh, "Well, if you want to, if you want to put anything in me or want me to suck you off, it's gonna cost more." <laughs> Where did I get that from? Was I quoting um? Um, Dave Chappelle. I don't know. I, I say quotes. I don't remember where I get them There's from. There's so many quotes. Yeah. Where he was being like, um, the crackhead guy. <laughs> he's like, I'll suck your dick. He's like, what? No, I've got any drugs. There's also another episode of Always Funny where they go to the, or Always Funny. It's funny. Always Funny. Always Sunny where they go to the, the welfare, the, the, well, the welfare store. Um, I think, I think I'm going to have this. No, it's not the welfare store. That's when they go to Lacatum the Hall. clinic to try to get a blood test on. I think the kid. this is the right way. And there's a prostitute in there. Mm. She's like, I suck your dick for five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and for the Mon Highlands. I think Mon stands for monsters. <laughs> Pocket Mons. Pocket Mons. Gotta catch them in a big net. Pocket mons, pocket monsters. <laughs> oh, this New is zone. a snowy place. Yeah. yeah cool. Yeah, yeah. Look at all these wild, evil soldiers okay. wandering the grass, just grazing. It's okay. Well, we're going to go through Alaska next time. Next time? Next time.
Next time we'll go through Alaska. Yeah. Hooray.